Hey guys, you know who back here with another 124 diecast review, and today <clears throat> I will be reviewing this awesome diecast I got Michigan International Speedway. It is the 2013 Denny Hamlin FedEx Ground Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. <clears throat> Great looking car. Um, yeah, I decided to go with the green this year. Green looked really nice, so uh, went ahead and grabbed one of these. So let's uh, look over the box quickly. On the top, we got a big picture of Denny Hamlin, Joe Gibbs Racing, the 11, Denny Hamlin up there, and of course Lionel, the official diecast of NASCAR. On the side, you've got Denny Hamlin's head again. Mm. Looks much more happy on this box than he does when he was in that fight with Logano. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing, NASCAR hologram, FedEx, ground, picture of the car, I guess. Actually, racing collectibles. This side, same thing. Probably a picture of the car. On the back, just uh, they don't explain the car this year, which is interesting. They don't show like the details of the car or anything. They just it's basically the same without the picture. So yeah, bottom, blah blah blah, line all. And on this side, we've got Denny Hamlin, number eleven FedEx Ground, two thousand thirteen Camry, one of seven hundred and seventy-five, and the code. 20th anniversary, Hash Race Collectibles, and it's the year 2013, of course. And a bunch of other crap that we don't need at all. That's it for the box. Let's get to the car. It's not as rare as some of the other ones, but still pretty low number. There's the car. Really awesome looking die cast. Uh, doesn't look as good on the camera, but it's really great in person. Um, great job with the colors. It's a little limey, more lime green. On the diecast than the picture. Uh, you can't really see it here, but that's a bit of a darker green, but I really like the way they did it on the diecast. Um, very, I think it looks pretty realistic. The cars, this is the first 2013 I've gotten. It's pretty well done. I mean, the whole shape is different, like the, the Lexan, uh, Shark Fin, and everything. It really looks awesome. Uh, so let's start from the front, I guess. The main sponsor of this car FedEx Ground, of course. On the windshield, you got Denny Hamlin with the Toyota manufacturer logos actually printed well onto that windshield. You got Toyota Camry on the front here. I'll get the hood later because that can be a bit of a challenge. You got Goodyear, the usual contingencies, the lovely 11 outlined in purple, outlined in green. Uh, you got FedEx Ground, American Ethanol with the pretty large divot there. That's um goes deeper than some of my other ones. Maybe it's because it's new. Uh, above the window net, you've got Denny Hamlin, signature Coca-Cola. On the back, you've got Toyota on the bumper, FedEx.com. 11 under the right taillight, Joke is racing under the left Toyota logo right there. Open up the back. It's a little uh, less... Uh, give I guess now they're not as uh, finicky can't open up them like all the way or a little bit there's like a certain amount that snaps open to almost every time so pretty cool looking car Let's see if you can see in there and see the fuel cell there it is looks very nice and it just sort of snaps closed very nice lead on we've got the lovely DIN I always love checking the DIN mine is 548 so a pretty high number for 775. Um, yeah, I just got the market across the track, so I wasn't really expecting a cool number. We got FedEx ground on the deck lid. The front of the spoiler is green, while the back is black. FedEx ground on the top with a another green 11. No, this is the first green 11, actually. I like how they switched the colors from the side to the top. Green outlined and purple outlined and white, so very lovely. Right side, same as the left, the lovely little uh, sparks, I guess you can say, whatever. I like when they add that to the car. They really made it look nice when they had the new uh, front uh, splitter. That's when they added the hole and all that. So it looks really cool. Uh, one thing they've added this year for the new cars is not only front suspension, but back suspension. 
very detailed in the back. So it can really be all shifty and stuff. You can see on the bottom here, all these rods right here sort of come back as I push down. Really cool die cast. Um, looks really nice on the bottom too. You have the little 20th anniversary sticker right there. Um, very well done. And now I'm going to attempt to open the hood. Um, oh, steady. Attempt to open the hood, you know, it's, it can be a little challenging. Sometimes, sometimes I start from the back, sometimes I have to go to the front. Uh, oh, come on. Please. Remember the last time I did a Danny Hamlin uh, review, I didn't even get the hood open. I was too, la <clears throat> it's too lazy. So I don't want to disappoint you this time. There we go. So you got what you got to do is actually count the instructions. To just show it, <clears throat> pop it open a little bit. Then you sort of got to like pull it out. Mine's got a little trouble with that, so I pull it out a bit. Then what I do is I put my finger back here and I push it out farther on each end. Because this one, this end has a little trouble going forward. And then I lift it up. As far as I can, for the most oh now I can't for the most part I could usually get there and I was like what the heck and I figured it out and I got it so it opens up to that and that is as big as it can open trust me I've tried really hard to open up more more than that <laughs> and it's just I think maybe different brands it opens up a different amount uh, different you know space but that's much more open than I had it previously so I'm glad I figured that out just a little tricky to get open but cool I like the new uh, lids they added it's like another feature of the car that they've had this year uh, and so you can see the engine sort of not, it's really hard to see that's the problem you can't really see any of the TRD engine very dark in there uh, and under the deck lid you've actually got FedEx ground and Toyota there you can see them and so just to close it you push down the front like that, then you push forward like that, and that's still open here. You just tap it down. It just went all the way closed there, so that was nice. Um, yeah, over great car. I mean, these FedEx schemes—they're never too, they're never unique, but they're always one of the best cars out there. So it's easily a nine out of ten car. I know I like to say that a lot. You've got the uh, clear Lexan shark fins here, very nice. Roof flaps really bigger this year so uh very nice addition as well so overall just an awesome car awesome why did i say awesome awesome car clean that up a bit it's got some fingerprints there I like to keep the cars nice and clean uh yeah great uh great idea for any Danny hamlin collector the green car looks awesome this year they really all do i, I really like the blue one this year as well but i, I got the blue one last year so this year's the FedEx Grand, and next year, who knows? Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.